So if you've been following the international headlines, you know that over in Cambodia, one of the members of the opposition have been thrown in jail and accused of treason. Basically, the government there believed that his actions are signs that he is undermining the current government. That's kind of what the opposition means, right? I remember back during some of the previous presidencies in the United States, going all the way back to when I was a kid and Richard Nixon, but then each one after that, everything from Ford to Carter to Reagan, there were protesters who were considered to be loyal to the country. They were just simply protesting the policies. However, starting with some of the other protests that started happening then with, not, actually not so much under Clinton, but certainly under Bush the second and then under Obama, and now under Trump, there's this attitude that somehow if you are protesting the government, that you are not loyal to your country, that somehow you are committing an act of treason by questioning those in positions of authority. Now, if I look at something like Cambodia, and I feel this sense of disgust, that, oh, they're throwing members of a political party in jail just simply for being in the opposition. They're calling it treason. And yet I can't recognize the same thing here in, in the way that the Trump supporters are treating Clinton or Bernie Sanders or anybody else who dares to question President Trump. Somehow there's, there are blinders on with some of my friends. Some of them, they call themselves deplorables. They call themselves Republicans. They call themselves loyal Americans. They want to make America great again. I honestly don't want to make America anything. I want to be left alone. I, I want people to stop trying to rope me into their politics, and I want the people to stop trying to make me sound like I'm... Just, I mean, I listen to myself explaining to people how I don't believe I need to be ruled by anybody, and honestly, I can see some of the same language coming out of my mouth that's being used in the Cambodian case. That Basically, I do not feel like you have the right to rule me any more than I feel like I have the right to rule you. And if that's the case, if that makes me a traitor to my country, well, throw me in jail. Because I'm not going to change in terms of my obedience. My worship does not belong to any man. It does not belong to any country. It does not belong to anything on this planet. And you can make whatever image you want to whether it's a statue or whether it's a piece of fabric and, you know, bow down before the fabric. I'm not going to worship your idol. And whatever that means for me, so be it. But let me ask you to seriously question just for a moment if maybe you're not in the same position as some of these people that I've been criticizing today. And if so, what does that mean to you? Are you comfortable being in that crowd? Think about it and engage me on the topic. Send me an email, steve at radiofreespeech.com. Let's talk about it.